Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So we're talking about object-oriented programming in Python 3.5 and we're getting into a lot of the core object-oriented nature of the language itself. And um, what I want to discuss now is the doc string in Python. The doc string dates back to the original implementation of the language and it's all about documenting your code. Similar to other keywords in Python that we've seen, the um, like the init method which is really the, the constructor method of, of an object and then you have um, this doc the underscore underscore doc underscore underscore and what that's supposed to do is it's supposed to be able to print out um, information on what a method is supposed to do so uh, ultimately every object or every class and every method on that class should have its own doc string in Python and one of the weird things for me coming from C Sharp is that instead of actually documenting above your class, the uh, standard to use uh, for documentation with Python is actually to do it under the class or under or inside of the um, you know, method definition. So let me give you an example. And just in case I haven't touched on this in the past, there's two ways of doing commenting in Python comments are for your own personal code, and it's ignored by the Python interpreter when the program is run. The, this is the standard way. So just using the pound sign and then anything after that is the standard way. And then you have the multi-line comment where this can range multiple lines and go like that. So I'm sure I've already covered that. If I haven't, that's, those are the two ways that you comment code. Now, with the doc string, there's a third way. Under the class definition, you would do triple quotes. And you can see that the editor actually has it in a different color. So it can be multiple lines, it doesn't matter, but um, it has it in a gray matter uh, instead of the green that you saw before because it is a different type. This is something that only the doc string can reference. So this is a, um, this, this explains what the class does. Now the important thing to note is that you're not supposed to go into detail into how the class operates and how it works. It's about what it, what it does. And the same thing with every one of these um, definitions inside these, these methods that you have inside of your function. This can just be, this is the init. And then we'll go ahead and um, down here on the second one we'll do a, um, actually I'm in the habit of doing it on top and it's, down below which is weird for me this is what it does now that's a terrible thing obviously you'd want to give it some sort of explanation of what this thing does but you can see it doesn't do anything it just passes now in order for the end user to be able to access that they can actually say okay here's my my object and I can get information about a method on that object by saying my object dot and then the name of the method, so second method. And then I just have to say underscore, underscore, doc, underscore. In fact, what I want to do is probably wrap this in a print statement so you guys can see what this thing actually prints off. So we'll go ahead and run this. And you can see that this is what it does. So. We could do the same thing on the actual class object itself. Uh, we, we don't have one on the C. I put one on the A. So you can see it shows up now. All right, guys, so that's really all there is to it. Now, I will go ahead and um, cite this example on the web here, and you can see how doc strings can get very, very detailed into how something something works here. So you can see this is a, like right here, is a pretty large doc string, so you're going to see a lot of that. Um, yeah, that's really it, guys. So if you have any questions re regarding that, just leave a comment, and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye.